Texas. Uh, we love, we're very fond of Vegas. They're having that major consumer electronic show. It's underway right now, and we've got uh, a guy I've in the got, middle of it all. Yeah, his name is Ray Maker. He's the founder of the sports gadget and product review website, uh, DC Rainmaker. Ray, nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Uh, nice to be back. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Did you find any fun gadgets there for us? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a, got a ton of stuff. Um, CES this year has really exploded in wearables. Uh, in the last few years, it keeps getting bigger and bigger with health and fitness devices, and now there's an entire plaza dedicated just to that alone. Okay. So what we got up first is uh, Garmin's Vivo Active Watch. Um, what this is, this was just announced yesterday. This is a smartwatch that you've typically had that would have done things like uh, text notifications and, and call alerts, but it can also go outside and has GPS components. So this allows you to go out for a run with GPS, and you don't have to worry about necessarily um, having you know, a phone with you or anything else that goes ahead and tracks that automatically. That's pretty good, and especially if Next. you have a tendency to get lost like Greg, it might get you back on track. Since when do I... All right, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> uh, Ray, what's the next thing you got? Yep, next up we have the Fitbit Surge and the Fitbit Charge HR. Um, these two devices were announced uh, just before the holidays, but are only becoming available now. Uh, the difference between this and a previous Fitbit that you might have had is it actually has optical heart rate in the back of it. So if you were to look at the back of this unit, it's got this uh, green pulsing LED light there. What that allows you to do is to go ahead and get your heart rate automatically without having to wear a chest strap. Um, and then both of these devices with the Fitbit Charge HR, that's a smaller one, and then the Fitbit Surge here um, to the left, uh, this one counts steps and sleep and everything else, and then the Fitbit Charge can also use GPS, again, out in the park running and, and whatnot. All right, I know when my heart's beating fast. I know, but it's good. People like to keep their heart rate at a certain, uh, you know, level, right? Oh. Right? You and I, we're, we're big yeah, workout absolutely. people. Yeah, you're a gym rat. <laughs> Was that a, Ray, what's next? Uh, just... Yep, and then so speaking of heart rate, what we've got is amp strip. Now this is really cool. This was just announced. Um, what this is, is this is a sticker, and you put this sticker here on your chest, on your rib cage, and it goes kind of right there. And then this electrode in the back will go ahead and monitor your heart rate. Now what's really neat about this though is that it'll last for seven days. So you can put the sticker on yourself, um, keep it there for seven days, and it'll not only count your or track your heart rate, but also your steps as well as your sleep and your body temperature. Wow, and can then you it'll just send that right to your smartphone. Can you yep. take a shower with that thing? Yeah, you can go swimming with it, you it looks can. like. It's fully waterproof. Yep, you can go swimming with it, it's fully waterproof. Um, the strips last about three to seven days. Strips only cost a buck, and the whole thing costs 150 bucks with 30 straps, which is an incredible number of uh, extra Ooh, accessory I straps. Like that. All right, now, but again, Ray, you look like you, uh, you're you in pretty good shape. I mean, what different, you know, I go running, my heart beats fast. Why, why do I need to know if it's uh, 130 beats per minute versus, I don't 160. know. 160. Right. Yep, so heartbeat's a great way to, to go ahead and train appropriately. So a lot of folks when they're, they're running, for example, um, will often run till exhaustion. They'll just run as hard as they can every single time. Um, but often that won't actually get you all that much faster. So you want to have kind of a mix of, uh, you know, good medium intensity runs as well as hard interval runs. So using something that has a heart rate uh, sensor in it allows you to kind of find that perfect blend. Ray Maker, thanks a lot. We won't ask you about what's happening in Vegas when the show is over uh, after, after the convention because yeah. you're I, not supposed to say. There are after-hour activities, right? Do you need exactly. a heart monitor for that, Ray? <laughs> no, I think it's just uh, after this show, it's, it's crazy busy. Probably just sleep at this point. Uh, it's all mm. business. Okay, sure, sure right. Ray. Okay, <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Right. Have a but good stay time. in Vegas, right? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, you too. Be right back. Thanks. What do you think about that? I think he doesn't know how to have a good time if that's true.